Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Today I'm going to show you my ultrasonic transmitter kit. Unfortunately we don't have the, trend, the uh, transducers in yet so I won't be selling them. But I'm in the midst of making a receiver kit as well that we'll sell uh, separately and uh, as well we'll sell them as one big lot if you're interested. Uh, what I've got over here is a, an old circuit that I designed a long long time ago. What it does is it receives ultrasonic signals, amplifies them, and then uh, basically it's just essentially a, uh, an ultrasonic security system. I'm not going to show that off, but I'm going to use it as an ultrasonic receiver. So I've got the the kit transmitting at four at 40k, 40 kilohertz, which is the centered frequency of these transducers. When uh, the receiver receives a steady uh, signal. The LED will turn on even after it starts, even if after it stops receiving the signal for about two seconds. It's just the programming of the IC, uh, which is a pick. So uh, when I press the transmit button, you can have anywhere from uh, five to ten volts on DC on the transmitter. And as you can see, I press the button. I'll let go. That LED will stand for a little bit and turn off. Again, again. I'll just keep. I'll just hold it this time. Uh, it works to about uh, a meter back, possibly longer. I haven't uh, fully tested it yet because I don't have the receiver board uh, as well. I'm hooked up to my power supply. I'm letting go. There you go. So it's a neat little power supply. Let me just give. You, let me just show you again, and we can talk about it. I got a little bit creative with this kit. Uh, there's two pads where you can solder in your ultrasonic transducer. Very easy to solder in. It's five 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 timer controlled, so you set it up. Uh, there are timing. Uh, two timing resistors and one timing capacitor on here that uh, allows for you to uh, transmit at 40 kilohertz, which again is the center frequency. However, if you want to change, if you want to change those timing components, when I release this kit, you'll uh, you'll know about it in the uh, instructional video. Uh, you can transmit at different frequencies if you want. However, 40 kilohertz is the is the going uh, is is the center frequency for the specific transducer. I'll be making another kit that's actually a uh, uh, a, a, a lower frequency a transmitter We're using a different transducer that will ward off dogs uh, but that's going to be coming later on in 2012 there's three pins easily interface with your Arduino there is a there is a uh, an external signal option so you can place a signal uh, your, your own custom signal uh, on the middle pin uh, your VCC pin or V plus pin, which can be 5 to 10 volts DC, and your ground. Very easy to use. When you press that button, it transmits the signal. There is a jumper here. If you don't place that jumper, then it is transmitting based on your external signal, should you want to place one in. If you place that jumper there, you short that jumper, uh, you power it up, you press that button, and you transmit the, you transmit the 40 kilohertz generated from the 555 timer. Uh, it's very good. It's a cool looking board. Uh, you'll, I'll have the receiver board to match it in uh, probably by the end of February, early March. So check us out for that. Uh, hope you found this a little bit interesting. I haven't found very many uh, ultrasonic kits that are extremely useful on the market. Uh, we used to sell one or two, but even then, uh, we didn't design them personally, and I wasn't very happy with them. So once we get these uh, transducers in, then I will start selling the transmitter, and I'm designing the receiver uh, as we speak. So that should be in store soon. Thanks for watching, guys.